think you should <laughs> What is up guys, my name is XWolf and today's video I'll be showing you how to stream from your Xbox to YouTube. But first of all, can we hit that like button and let's get into this. You want to head off to steamlabs.com, the link will be in the description and you want to log in with your Twitch or YouTube, depends which one you want. And the main reason I, I did this um, Streamlabs is to get an overlay and to get like, put your name and top donations and alert boxes and stuff like that. So. You want to log into YouTube or Twitch, I've been doing, doing mine for my YouTube. You want to log in for that. And as you can see, on the left hand side, there will be stuff with um, donations and stuff like that. I can't do that right now because I haven't hit a thousand subs yet with the super chat. And guys, with the widget, if you go to the widget uh, section, the alert boxes and goals and everything there, that is a good way to help grow your channel with your streams. Second of all, you want to download the Streamlabs and it will tell you if you want to log in with YouTube or Twitch. You can do both as well. So when you open it up, it'll look like this. And you just want to um, go into your settings and see, I'll show you the settings of what the best stream quality will be for the stream. But first of all, you want to go to the stream uh, option. To actually get connected to the actual YouTube, you have to put your stream key from your YouTube into the Streamlab. So you want to head off to your YouTube, go into your um, live stream settings. And once this loads up, it will be near the bottom. It will say stream key. And then you want to copy that and paste that into your Streamlabs. Also, make sure not to show anyone your uh, stream key because anyone can stream from your channel if they get the code. That's why I did not reveal it. You could see there the dots, but not the actual finger. So, you want to paste that in the stream key. Also, you want to select which one you want to. It's for YouTube, so I'm going to select for YouTube, not Twitch. But if you want to do it for Twitch, you can put it in for Twitch. The way to get your Twitch key, you just have to go onto the URL right at the top of the search bar and you want to type in Twitch stream key, key, then it will come up with your uh, stream key. Second of all, you want to go to the video. So you want to go into the output and go into the video bit rate. You want it between two two thousand five hundred to to three thousand. I put mine at three thousand normally. And for the video, you want to put it on. 80. This is the best setting for the stream as it will be the best quality. You can put it on for the 720, that is just as good. You really can't tell the difference, but I put it on 1080. You could do shortcuts with the hotkeys, and you don't really need to know the rest. So now you need to go onto the sources, and this is where the actual xbox game will come into play you want to go to game capture and once you're going to this you have to select capture specific window when you do this yeah you, you will capture which window it is so this is why you have to have windows 10 to get the xbox app once you open the xbox app you have to log in mine's already logged in so if you do log in you go on the left hand side there will be a variety of um, icons there you have to go from the uh, second one up from the bottom this is where you have to stream from your xbox to your laptop it is actually a really good way i i don't know any better way to do this i've been trying to look at videos seeing how to do it i did not find one so you have to select your xbox there's three in my house so after select your xbox you want to stream Press stream, you can test stream, but I was going for this stream. Once you are connected to your Xbox, you want to click continue. This is so you can actually connect to the phone thing and it will sh show the gameplay. So there we go. We have got the Fortnite 
on the background this is actually connected i actually move this once this is started streaming you have to go into game capture again click on it like we've just done that game captured specific window you want to go on to the second one down and click xbox this is actually connects to the streamlabs and it, it comes up with it on the screen you have to go back onto the xbox app to actually make it show up onto the screen as you can see I am playing Fortnite and um, it's a really good it doesn't lag whatsoever so it's a pretty good stream, streaming way to do this see I just moved it there we go okay it has shown up so you have to resize it you want to try and snap it like I did then move it to whatever you want and i moved it right to there and i think it fits perfectly so once you have done this you can actually put an overlay onto the actual video so that is pretty cool that's the reason why i really wanted to do this and the best way to actually stream from your xbox to youtube okay to actually make this work like move onto the actual because on streamlabs it looks like the thing the actual window is frozen that's why you have to keep your screen on the xbox app or the thing you want move actually get an overlay on the stream you have to go to the themes at the top once you have opened this it will come up with these and they will give you quite a lot of um overlays and you can click on the left hand side to get what you like i just picked one at random what actually caught my eye so i just picked one at random once you do this you just have to click onto the actual other layer and scroll to the top and actually click download or install once you've done this it'll take you back to the editors where all your gameplay and everything is and you can customize it from there once it's downloaded take it to the screen or you manually have to do it just click on editor and it'll come up with all these things with it over what you picked. It'll come up with the webcam, the chat box, and it has your name at the top or whatever. It depends on what you picked. Once you've done this, you can actually put your alert box on. So when people actually subscribe or whatever or donate, it will pop on the screen. So I'm just doing a little um, example of editing the actual uh, title. Just have to click on the the actual name, whatever you wanted. Go onto the your name if it says your name, and edit it from there. I put mine as X Wolf, seeing it as my channel is X Wolf. Once you're from there, you can actually customize it yourself if you want to. Then once you're done that, you press save, and I'll go back to this. You can actually resize it to whatever size you want and i actually deleted the chat box by accident i just didn't i didn't want the webcam because i don't do webcams in my videos and um if the actual gameplay goes sometimes it does sometimes it stays sometimes it doesn't you can actually go back and do that do this again you just have to go into the game capture Press OK on here. Then go back, go into this, go into capture specific window, go into Xbox, and there we go. And then press done. Once this, just go back on the Xbox app to make it actually work. There we go. Since I've just um, connected to, um, to do this, you just have to resize it again. And I have to drag it to the bottom. 
so you can actually see all the overlays and everything. To go live, you just have to go to the bottom right where it says go live. You click on that button, it will come up and you have to edit what game you're playing and what is the title. Once you do this, this will actually go live. But if it doesn't work like I'm, I'm just showing here, because this is what happened before, because it actually like glitched out and did not let me stream. It's either you put the code in wrong, the stream key, or you have to reset the whole thing. By doing that, you just have to go to the cog at the top right, what it's just the settings button. Then you click this option here this actually helped me once you do that if that once you do that it will work and by doing this it'll make everything work properly and just go into youtube to edit your thumbnail and everything and once you've done that you are all set up to go if you guys like this video smash that like button and if you are new subscribe and i'll see you guys next time